1,000 Elb Sisters. Amy spotted in a hotel room with a new man. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Amy Slighton Halterman initially came into the limelight because of her massive weight loss. She completely transformed herself and won many hearts. However, the 1000 Alb sister celeb had to deal with a hard phase because of her chaotic divorce. But Amy has now been trying to move on by jumping from man to man. Amid all this, viewers were in shock when they saw Amy behaving in a strange manner. She was recently spotted at a hotel, and fans are still trying to solve the mystery of why she went to a hotel in a mysterious way. What is Amy up to now? 1000 Elb Sisters a fan spotted Amy at a hotel. 1000 Alb sister star Amy Slayton hasn't looked back after her infamous divorce. She initially started dating a man named Tony and ended up bringing him close to her kids as well. The celeb soon parted ways with him and found his new boyfriend, Kevin. Since then, Amy has been gushing over her new beau and hasn't been able to take her eyes off him. While Amy is already dating Kevin, a fan spotted her at a hotel. A user started to claim on social media that they recently met the 1000 Alb sister celeb in a hotel hallway in Indiana. The noted viewer explained that they had a conversation with Amy, which was a pleasant exchange, but a short one. As per the source, the latter was sweet and sweetly smiled when they said that they loved her TLC show. But the question arises of what Amy was actually doing in a hotel. The majority of the viewers feel that perhaps she went on a date with Kevin. Apparently, the couple had their second date on February 16, and the latter posted about it as well. Kevin and Amy smiled in the picture, and their background seemed to be a hotel room. So there is a fair chance that the fan met the celeb just after she had her date. 1000 Alb Sisters Why fans think Kevin is a red flag? 1000 Alb Sisters fans aren't really impressed with Amy's new romance. They were in shock when they saw her jumping into the dating realm again after she broke up with Tony. The celeb received backlash for not taking time to heal in her life and bringing random men around her kids. But when it comes to Kevin, viewers aren't able to tolerate him at all. Fans feel that Kevin is a walking red flag and would cause Amy more heartbreak. He smokes around the ladder and even shared videos of him doing the same on social media. Amy's new man seems to be really arrogant and rude, as there have been several instances when he misbehaved with the Sullivan's fans. Kevin's behavior hasn't been sitting well with the audience. Hence, they ended up accusing him of being with her for the sake of money and fame. But Kevin isn't someone who takes backlash positively. He took to his social media handle and slammed all his trollers. He made it clear that he doesn't even give a sh asterisk t to what people are saying. That is why fans feel that Kevin isn't the one for Amy and she should run as soon as possible. Keep coming back to TV season and spoilers for the latest 1000 Alb Sisters T. Life for Amy Slayton had always been a roller coaster. The 1000 Alb Sisters star had faced numerous challenges, from her weight loss journey to the complexities of family dynamics. Despite the ups and downs, Amy had always managed to keep her head high and her sense of humor intact. But recently, rumors began swirling about her personal life, and the latest one was too juicy to ignore. Amy Slayton had been spotted in a hotel room with a new man. The news spread like wildfire among fans and on social media, with people speculating about who this mysterious man could be. Amy had always been open about her life on the reality show, but this was a new twist that no one saw coming. The rumor mill was in overdrive, and everyone was eager to learn more about the man who had seemingly captured Amy's heart. It had been a tough year for Amy. After her separation from her husband, Michael Halterman, she had focused on rebuilding her life and taking care of her son, Gage. Amy was determined to create a stable and loving environment for her son, even if it meant facing life as a single mother. But amid the challenges, there was a part of her that longed for companionship and love. One evening, while scrolling through her social media feed, Amy came across a message from an old friend, Brandon, who she hadn't seen in years. They had gone to high school together, but had lost touch over time. Brandon's message was simple. Hey Amy, it's been a while. How are you doing? Amy felt a spark of excitement as she replied, 
Hey, Brandon. It's been forever. I doing well, just busy with life and my son. How about you? The conversation flowed easily, and before long, Amy and Brandon were chatting regularly. They reminisced about their high school days, shared stories about their current lives, and found themselves reconnecting in a way that felt natural and comforting. Brandon was kind, funny, and supportive, and Amy couldn't help but feel drawn to him. After weeks of talking online and over the phone, Brandon suggested they meet in person. He was coming to town for a business trip and thought it would be a great opportunity to catch up. Amy was nervous but excited at the prospect of seeing her old friend again. They decided to meet at a cozy hotel in town where Brandon was staying. Amy arranged for a babysitter for Gage and got ready for the evening, her heart racing with anticipation. She chose a simple yet elegant outfit, wanting to look her best for the reunion. When she arrived at the hotel, Brandon was waiting for her in the lobby. He stood up and smiled, and Amy felt a rush of warmth as she saw him. Amy, it's so good to see you, he said, hugging her tightly. It's great to see you too, Brandon, Amy replied, feeling a sense of comfort in his embrace. They went up to Brandon's room, where they had a quiet dinner delivered from the hotel restaurant. They spent hours talking, laughing, and catching up on everything they had missed over the years. The connection they felt online was even stronger in person and Amy found herself opening up to Brandon in a way she hadn't with anyone in a long time. As the evening progressed, it became clear that their friendship had the potential to evolve into something more. Brandon was attentive and caring, making Amy feel cherished and appreciated. For the first time in a long while, Amy felt a sense of hope and excitement about the future. The next morning, Amy and Brandon had breakfast together before parting ways. Amy returned home with a smile on her face, feeling a newfound sense of happiness. But her joy was soon overshadowed by the whirlwind of gossip and speculation that followed. The news of Amy being spotted with a new man in a hotel room spread rapidly. Fans and critics alike took to social media to express their opinions, with some showing support and others being harshly judgmental. Amy deserves to be happy. Good for her for moving on. One fan tweeted, Who's this new guy? She just got separated. Isn't it too soon? Another person posted. Amy was taken aback by the intensity of the reactions. She had always been open with her fans, but this level of scrutiny felt overwhelming. She knew she had to address the rumors and set the record straight. Amy decided to film a video for her YouTube channel to address the rumors head on. She wanted to be honest with her fans and share her side of the story. Sitting in her living room, she turned on the camera and took a deep breath. Hey everyone, it's Amy. I wanted to talk to you all about something that's been going around online, she began. Yes, I was spotted at a hotel with a new man. His name is Brandon, and he's an old friend from high school. We reconnected recently, and we decided to catch up while he was in town. Amy paused, gathering her thoughts. I know some of you might think it's too soon or have your own opinions, but I just want to say that I'm happy. Brandon is a wonderful person and he makes me feel valued and appreciated. I'm taking things one step at a time, and I appreciate your understanding and support. The video received a flood of comments, most of them positive and supportive. Amy's fans admired her honesty and wished her well on this new journey. The outpouring of love and encouragement gave Amy the strength to move forward with confidence. As Amy and Brandon continued to see each other, their bond grew stronger. They made an effort to spend quality time together, despite the challenges of their busy lives. Brandon was patient and understanding, always prioritizing Amy's well-being and the needs of her son, Gage. One weekend, Brandon invited Amy and Gage to visit his home in a nearby town. Amy was excited but also a bit nervous about how Gage would react to Brandon. She wanted to make sure that her son felt comfortable and safe around him. When they arrived, Brandon greeted them with a warm smile and a big hug. Hi, Gage. I've heard so much about you, he said, kneeling down to Gage's level. Gage looked at Brandon curiously before smiling shyly. Hi, he replied. Brandon had planned a fun day filled with activities that Gage would enjoy, including a trip to a local zoo and a picnic in the park. Amy watched with a smile as Brandon and Gage bonded over feeding the animals and playing on the swings.
It warmed her heart to see them getting along so well. As the day came to an end, Amy felt a deep sense of contentment. Brandon's kindness and genuine care for Gage reaffirmed her feelings for him. She knew that they were building something special, and she was excited about the future.